Today I'm going to be reviewing the Exter Parliament Slim Leather Wallet with RFID blocking and quick card access. We're going to go over the features, we're going to answer questions like does the RFID blocking actually work, and then I'm going to let you know what I think of it after having used it for the last two months. Welcome to the Dad Bod. Today, as I said, I'm going to give you an overview and a two month review of the Exker Parliament Slim Leather Wallet with RFID blocking and quick card access. This guy right here. This wallet boasts a plethora of features. It says that the wallet should be able to hold 10 or more cards in total. It's made from premium materials. It's handcrafted from premium top grain leather tanned under gold rated LWG certified protocols. And then it's got a 6063 T5 aluminum card holder spot. This wallet looks real nice. The leather's top quality. I can't show you how the leather holds up over years of use, but what I do know is they say after a week or two of using it, the wallet will stay closed over itself easily over any bills that you have tucked into the elastic bill holder. It's not meant to hold big wads of cash, so I only kept four bills folded in here for my review. After two months, it was only just starting to show signs of conforming. In fact, right now, even with just two bills, it still isn't showing much. So I'm a bit doubtful if it's ever gonna be able to hold you know, three, four, five bills. This is the aluminum card holder right here, which gives you instant card access at the click of a button. As you can see, I bought fake credit cards on Amazon specifically for this. It's supposed to hold four to six cards, depending on the number of embossed cards you have. Embossed meaning the credit cards that you have with raised numbers. I had five cards in here, four were embossed, one was flat, and it seemed to be too much. I had to apply significant pressure at the button to get them to pop up and they didn't all come up all the way. So I would say with credit cards, you probably should limit yourself to four in here. I tried it a few different ways. I can fit five cards as long as at least two of them are completely flat. Inside of the flap, you have two more pockets for cards. And then on the outside of the wallet, you have another pocket that's meant to hold a tracker such as the Exker tracker card or an Apple AirTag but I just use it for my driver's license and registration. If you jam this thing full of credit cards, the ones without raised numbering, you might could fit nine, eight, if you're using a tracker in the outer pocket. So I'm not really sure why it says that you can fit 10 plus cards. More realistically speaking, since many cards have raised numbering, you could probably fit six or seven and then a driver's license. Cash, I would probably limit it to one or two bills. As I said earlier, uh, I started off using four and it wasn't closing over. I dropped down to two and it's still not really closing over, but with four, it was pretty bulky. And now for the RFID blocking. If you're not familiar with what RFID is, some credit cards can be used to pay wirelessly. They have the tap feature. It's convenient because you don't have to put in your card into the reader and then wait and wait, and then you go to take it out, but it still tells you not to. So then you wait, and then the horns of Gondor sound alerting everybody within a 30 mile radius of your location that you need to remove this card immediately or face the wrath of Visa. Problem with RFID is some people, especially in majorly crowded areas such as subways, airports, or tourist hotspots such as Paris, Oktoberfest, New York City, and basically any other place that's gonna have a tour guide, is gonna have people wanting to take what's not theirs. And they can very easily connect a little device in their pocket to a wand in their sleeve. And all they gotta do is walk up next to you and they can steal your credit card information and they can use that to make purchases with your card. That's why the RFID blocking is important. Now I've been testing this wallet at a few grocery stores, gas stations, and bank ATMs. From what I'm seeing, the cards in the pockets have no RFID protection, only the cards in the aluminum pop-up holder. All in all, it's a nice wallet if you're looking for a minimalistic wallet. Me personally, I need a place to hold my license, registration, my medical and dental insurance cards, my concealed carry card, my debit card, my credit card, my HSA credit card, my work corporate card, and this just doesn't have enough room for all that. So I will be doing more wallet reviews in the future. Make sure you subscribe so that way you don't miss them. In the meantime, check out these videos right here of my monthly men's subscription box reviews, or this one right here with men's fashion tips and tricks, and I'll see you there.